Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Brian Casella here, BC. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to shoot this video now that I had been living officially in Miami for about two months. I wanted to report back and give everybody insight on what it's actually like. Some people still haven't seen my video about moving and maybe you've been wondering uh, why my location has changed. I just wanted to give some basic insight on the move. For those of you who don't know or who may be just finding out, I moved from Los Angeles, California to Miami, Florida and I up and left, right? Let me compare some things, right? Actually living here is, I think a little bit different than most people would expect, right? You have a lot here. You have South Beach, right, very touristy. I'm currently staying in North Beach, which is, which is about a eh, 10 or 15 minute drive, depending on if you hit bad lights or a lot of traffic, just out of it, but I'm on the beach side, right? You have the bridges that cross over and you have a different feel over on the downtown side, right? It still feels like a city. This is a lot smaller than LA, still feels like a city, still has its same ins and outs like a city. Um, overall, let me give you an all encompassing type of comparison, again, coming from California to here. Um, so number one is there's still traffic, but it's way less. The traffic in California and Los Angeles in particular, um, I would probably bet that it's one of the worst in the United States. I'm not gonna say the world, right? Cause I haven't traveled the world yet, but for sure in the US, probably New York, LA, Frisco, I'm assuming are probably the most uh, heavy as far as traffic. Traffic here can get bad at times, right? We just had that building collapse here in Surfside. So the beach side has been a little bit more congested than usual, but overall though, little stints on the freeway might be stopped during rush hour, but a comparison to LA, much better. I hear people here complain about the traffic. Again, I'm coming from worse traffic, so this is an upgrade for me, okay? The humidity and the weather compared to somewhere like California that's more dry and desert. I don't mind the humidity, right? I've been here two months now. After about four to six weeks, I would say my body adjusted. My hair likes the humidity more. I think my skin also likes the humidity more. I feel like the air is a little bit cleaner out here too, but overall the weather, that's gonna be a preference. I don't mind humidity. Um, I know I haven't been here during its hottest, but I, I just don't mind it. I feel like I'm used to it already. I don't mind sweating. You know, I live a pretty clean lifestyle, so I don't stink when I sweat, unlike most people, which is why it makes them uncomfortable. Um, so that for me isn't as bad. Obviously, the air quality here, tremendously better, much better than back in California. The air quality in Los Angeles is probably one of the worst in the United States. A lot of pollution. You can literally taste it in the air when you get off the plane. Over here, right, I'm by the water or I'm on the mainland side, the air is just, it's great, I love it, okay? The people, gonna see a difference in people, right? Obviously, LA, uh, I would say it's a lot more progressive uh, from a political standpoint. You know, California is a, a very blue state. Miami as a whole, I wouldn't say is as blue as California. You know, you have a lot more Hispanic people here and a lot of them are coming from Central South America, the Caribbean, where, you know, a lot of the governments aren't um, for the people we can say so they enjoy being here and having the freedom and you can see that and I get that a lot in the conversations that I have with people too so because there is a much more Hispanic culture here condensed in Miami now there's still a lot of Hispanic culture in LA I think 40% of the population in LA is Hispanic predominantly Mexican right here you have a, a big mix you have a lot of people from DR you know uh, Dominican Republic Puerto Rico Cubans, a lot of Cubans, a lot of people from South America, Central America, and the Hispanic culture is very, um, you know, family oriented, much more in the family aspect, much more conservative in that sense, right? And they welcome you here with open arms. Everybody here that approaches me speaks to me in Spanish. It's pretty cool. And I'm getting a lot more of a friendly, open vibe. You know, it's still kind of a big city, right? Like LA, so everybody's kind of doing their thing. So it's going to depend on where you're at. But overall, I would say, Generally speaking, the conversations here are a little bit better. However, you're still going to get that big city feel where maybe you feel like people are kind of on their own and they're not just, you know, maybe like in Georgia or Tennessee where I went where everybody's kind of approaching you and super, super like overly nice. I think here or in any big city, it's going to be more about your vibe than anything. If you have a better vibe and you you seem more approachable, because like as an example, I'm a tall dude. Right, I'm, I'm covered in tattoos, but I'm still very approachable because I smile and I carry myself a certain way. So I think that's more important, but overall I would say, you know, the people seem a bit more approachable and a little bit more hospitable and like nice just in general, right? Like if I'm ever lost and I ask somebody for help or directions, 
I've never gotten a bad look, a dirty look, or somebody hasn't stopped to help me yet, whether I spoke to them in English or Spanish, right? Um, what else do we got here? Cost of living. It's interesting here, right? The rents on the beach side can be a little pricier. Again, you have to remember I'm coming from California, which is the top, I think, outside of New York. So this is a downgrade. Even the most expensive stuff here is a downgrade from California in price. But one thing that's different here is if I buy a property here, hey, dude, sorry, my cat is walking on the table, so it's moving a little bit. If I buy a property here, the, the, the mortgage, even if I only put three and a half or five percent down, a lot of the properties out here, whether they're condos or homes, the payment is going to be less than what you can rent it for, which I find fascinating from an investment standpoint here in regards to real estate. California, good luck. Right? California has high rents too, but the prices are so much higher that if you buy a house, even if you put 20% down, but you're paying a higher price. So case in point, I buy a $350,000 property here in Miami, a condo, let's say, and I put 5% down, that's 17,500. Okay? My rent is going to be, what I can charge somebody rent, it's going to be higher than what I pay in mortgage and fees and HOA. In most cases, right? I know some HOAs are crazy, but in most cases, same with a house. You go back to California, a home is starter home, five, six, seven hundred thousand, right? Even if you put 5% down, that's twice as much for the down payment. But guess what? Your mortgage is going to be that much higher. So the rent's not going to cover the mortgage. Now, I have less opportunity to cash flow and renting it, you know, renting over there in California makes more sense because you're not gonna have to put as much money down. So I can see that argument over there about let me rent first and save up money. Over here, you're better off buying. I think you would almost be a fool here to rent instead of really consider buying because you can get in with less money and if you do decide to step away and rent it, you can cash flow maybe immediately or at least break even, which again, from an investment standpoint, long term is incredible. It's incredible, right? Economy here is moving, uh, the produce, the food, I really enjoy, you know, you have a lot more stuff from the Caribbean here. Um, and a lot of the stuff that's local here, a lot of mango trees and things of that nature. So that, that's cool because it's so much more green here in Florida compared to, to LA, especially if you're in the city, right? If you're outside of the city, you have a lot of mountains and green, of course. But in the city, it's a concrete jungle here. A lot of green, a lot of palm trees, a lot of mango trees, a lot, lot of things that for me are different, right? Because in LA, I'm so used to seeing just slabs and slabs of concrete and here, Although it's flat, which a lot of people don't like, it, is, it does seem a lot greener to me, just in general. Again, unless you're getting outside of the city, okay? So overall, I'm happy with the move, you know? I think finding a job here may be, I've heard, you know, obviously I'm gonna be in real estate. I already got my real estate license. I'm just gonna keep doing what I did in LA. So maybe I'm not qualified to speak on that since I'm not just a regular nine to fiver. But I heard getting jobs here could be a little bit more difficult. I know here the service industry is big because a lot of tourism, you know, there's a lot of tourism. So maybe you, you would have to get, you know, jobs more in that sector. However, I did hear that there's rumors that big tech might be coming this way, uh, kind of like a East Coast Silicon Valley, uh, however they call it, which, you know, does have the potential to grow here, right? Prices are still low. There's a lot of opportunity out here. There's a lot of money to be made here. The vibe is much different than LA. I feel like there's a much more of a hustler vibe in LA versus here it's more let's chill let's hang out let's have lunch for three hours versus 30 minutes you know so if you're coming over here and you have that hustler mentality i think that that can be beneficial for you for sure because you may have yes you still have a lot of people here and you have competition but you may have less competition if you have that true hustler spirit which i know i have and you know you see that more in la in general than here maybe that'll change my opinion will change i've met a ton of people here already but I'm reporting in after only actually staying here for about two months and not even really being in Miami because I was traveling so much. I'll be out of Miami half of this month. And then when I came here, I flew into Tampa and I was in Georgia for like a week. So it's probably been more like six weeks that I've lived here, right? But overall, uh, thumbs up comparing it to California, I would say it has a lot more positives and negatives. Negatives, I guess you can say when it randomly rains, you know, and it can flood. I, again, I don't mind the rain because it's still hot and warm when it rains. So back home in LA, whenever it rains, it's normally super cold or it brings in a cold front, right? Um, other than that, you can say maybe a little bit of the traffic, people honking their horns, you know, it still kind of has that LA vibe in regards to the motorists, you know? But if you have gone anywhere, like in South America, where my family's from, they drive like crazy. So at least here, they're somewhat civilized the way that they drive, right? 
Um, other than that, I will be doing update videos, you know, as time goes on, but that, that's what I can report so far. Again, you know, I was leaving California with a you know, bad taste in my mouth, so it's easy for me to look at Florida or anywhere else and say it's much better. I may be biased. If you prefer dry weather, right, and maybe not that sporadic type of tropical storm rain, maybe LA or California is better for you. But all in all, I'm going to give, you know, Florida, you know, like a nine or 10 out of 10. You know, I'm really loving it here. I don't see myself moving anytime soon. The last time I came here before I moved, I didn't want to leave. Uh, when I was in, um, you know, the Northeast recently, right? Last week we did a tour with Team BC, Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania. I was itching to get back here, you know? So overall, again, I may be biased, but this is my just personal experience and honest assessment on living in Miami so far. Again, maybe if I was moving here with no money in my pocket and I was a nine to fiver, I would be, you know, singing a different tune here, right? But I'm just in a different position because of what I've done in the past. All right, that's it for this one. I'll be giving you regular update videos as time goes on, especially as I finally close escrow on my own house, right? I've been purchasing investments too. Once I do that, I'm gonna buy another car and then I'm also gonna open up an office here and start recruiting for Team BC. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Peace.